Neighbors tell me that part of their properties have been underwater for weeks now, and one animal sanctuary says that the flooding is putting their animals at risk. I'm begging for help for them to drain us. Homes in Loxahatchee. So this flooding, is that normal? No, this is like after we have a hurricane. And this has been like this for over two weeks. Just past this flooded lawn. And there's more rain every day and it gets higher every day. Lives John Wayne. I'm worried about my septic tank working. I mean, you can't eat mosquitoes, it's stagnant. Wayne says the area is path for a natural flow of water, but he says other neighbors have tried to block it from going through their lots, diverting it to other properties and roads. The roads are unpassable, they're underwater. It's not safe for anybody. If there's an emergency, they're gonna have a problem getting back here to it. Across the road at the prehistoric preserve. So just to give you an idea, the woods behind this pond is where everybody's water is running through. The private animal sanctuary estimates the flooding has caused over $100,000 in damages from repairs, vet bills, even loss of animals. It's devastating. I lose every baby tortoise this year. I'll have no babies from this year. Their species will not continue on. I have one species here. They only lay, wait, lay one egg a year. The county sent out code enforcement to survey the area and come up with a solution. And my main concern is the animals drinking the water and getting sick and dying from it. But neighbors say time is of the essence as more rain is on the forecast. Once that pond behind you breaches, this entire property is underwater and we will have to evacuate. I did reach out to Commissioner Sarah Baxter who says they plan to fully assess the situation and then recommend the proper changes back to the commission. Reporting in Loxahatchee, Joel Lopez, WPTV, News Channel 5.